everyone, this is Gilmer, and this is episode two of my Let's Play Birth of America 2 Wars in America. And really, it has just really started. Um, the war had, that we haven't even had any battles, we've had a couple of turns. It says, it does say that Great Britain did capture Fort Ticonderoga. Which I'm not too happy with, but we're going to scout him out a little bit by coming over here. And hopefully we'll get some kind of uh, information on this guy, on this uh, formation, the British formation that took Fort Ticonderoga. Actually, what is he doing? Okay, so... Philip Schuyler is here in Albany, Albany, New York, and he is strong enough probably to take on the troops in at Fort Ticonderoga. Maybe if I combine this guy with Philip Schuyler, then we will have enough troops to take on uh, General or Colonel Prescott. They, that's another thing about this game. The leaders in this game aren't all generals. They're they're some of them are colonels, which is you know it, it's understandable I guess because there are not that many generals to actually uh, choose from. So they have to probably put in some of the uh, colonels just so that every you, you'll have enough uh, commanders to command all of the forces that you have at your disposal. So, we are going to move Philip Schuyler, and uh, historically, Philip Schuyler and his army was formed to attack into Canada, and there should be some other forces as well. John Stark, the first New Hampshire, don't really, He's, he has partisan, the partisan ability. Let's move him down here as well. Wait a minute. What? Is he locked? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. I mean, there he is. He says he's not locked. Okay. Holy shit. Gage's army is is a thousand strong. We have no way in heck of beating that. Well, I don't know. I don't know if we can beat him or not because if I could get him to surrender then we might have a chance, but I don't necessarily know. So he's at 602, and he's at 87. Let's just go ahead and move him up and see if we can't bottle them up inside Boston, and then maybe we can get them to surrender. If they surrender there, that'll be huge for the game. And... Um, I don't know if if that's kind of gamey or what, but let's just see if we can't do something like that. And uh, let's see. Uh, 13 EPs, and we only have 12. So. Oh, wait a minute. Elite soldiers, soldier training, one regular replacement is eight EPs. Let's go ahead and, and select that. Okay, so R, if you press R on the keyboard, it will cycle through your troops. Might be cycling just through the active troops. Yeah, 
it's just cycling through or it might be cycling through the troops that have not had uh, a plot a turn plotted or a move plotted but either way it's one way of, of cycling through your units the T is going through the naval units Y is going through naval units so E is going through units as well W is going through the locked units it looks like and then Q is going through the locked units as well so E and R are for unlocked units so this unit is available as well so let's move him up here let's let's get him let's get him to uh, Boston as well let's see if we can't get these guys to surrender in um, Boston that would be huge I don't necessarily know that the game was designed to have that happen so early but if we can get that to happen early in the game then um, we'll almost have free reign to do whatever we want throughout the uh, colonies so let's just go ahead and try that see what happens and as you can tell I've got the sound in a much better level now I think I can talk over it it's uh, not too loud for me hope it's not too loud for you but if it is let me know in the comments and I will definitely adjust it again so let's see Champlain flo flotilla is com well let's you train regular one regular pl replacement an army formed in Maine to invade Canada okay that's this that's not a very strong army total of 64 Benedict Arnold he's a good commander let's take a look at him he's a 653 he's so he's very aggressive very offensive minded he's not too bad the Hartford Garrison oh let's see wait a minute so those units are in the Boston region and they are sieging Gage's army I don't know if somehow they will be relieved at some point he still has 21 days to get to this region called Saint Sacrament and he is a slow mover I think is what that ability is yes slow mover 25% move penalty to the whole stack so he's a very slow mover unfortunately for me uh, war command okay you gain control of region Yorktown you gain control of war Yorktown so we did capture Yorktown that is uh, pretty nice actually let's move him back though and then Champlain Flo Champlain flotilla is completely unsupplied I don't understand how much supply it needs. Okay. Let's see if we can go. Well, this is the, the flotilla that we captured from the English, I think. So, if anything happens to it... I don't think it's that big of a deal if we lose it because I think we took Fort Ticonderoga first and then they just took it back how much does he weigh 
22 and they will they can carry 20 there's another of our troops do we receive any more troops this time around or is that Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and save it. See how this is working out. He's at 119. He's at 594. That gives me just over 700. And I'm sieging an 1150 power unit. So let's go ahead and process this turn. Somehow I get the feeling that, that my troops in the Boston area are not going to be allowed to stay there for very long. Well, there was a battle. Um, let's see. English have bought a supply unit. We can train regular infantry. Arthur Lee meets Pierre Augustin. Caron de Beaumarche. Uh, Arthur Lee, secret envoy of the Continental Congress in Europe, meets Pierre Augustin. Caron de Beaumarche in Paris. The latter is a businessman and a playwright, but also a secret agent of the French government. He has many connections in the French court and in particular with the Comte de Virgin. I hope I'm pronouncing all these names correctly. The Foreign Secretary, the Foreign Secretary of Louis the Sixteenth, Beaumarchais, quickly becomes an ardent supporter of the American cause. Well, I appreciate that. George Washington takes command of the Continental Army. George Washington is appointed by the Congress at the by Congress at the head of the Continental Army. Guns for Charleston. What does that mean? Uh, Maryland militias mobilized. Ethan Allen leads the Green Mountain Boys. That's this unit. It's barely weak. This unit is only 74 strong. What happened to the other guy? Oh, he's, he's right here. So 137. Let's see. 32 days, huh? Hmm. I wonder if we can... Oh. That's right. It's too... It's too heavy to, to load. Uh, George Washington. Nine hundred and forty. What's his supply look like? It looks like he's got some good supply. Let's see if we can't buy some supply because that is definitely something that I always have issues with. And it says I need fifteen and only have twelve. So that is something I definitely always have issues with. And I don't want to have to go through that. Okay, so we have three supply units in Washington. No, that's Ward. Sorry. And then that's Bunker Hill, Ward. Oh, but it's George Washington command and it's still Ward's core. And I guess they consider this a core, even though they really don't have uh, official core, cores or divisions. They call this a core. It's really an army, and it has a four-star general in charge of it. This is George Washington's card. He's not really given a very good offensive rating. He is a charismatic leader. 
which gives a plus 5 maximum cohesion and a plus 25 increase in the fatigue recovery rate of units under his command. He is good subordinates, has good subordinates. He is an expert withdrawer, which I think it means if the battle is not going very well, then he's able to get out of the battle easier than, say, other, other generals. And he's a very fast mover. He gets a 25% move bonus to the whole stack. That is, that comes in handy. That that quick move thing because it you can get to different places a lot quicker than other people, and you can take advantage of certain situations um, that you have the initiative on, as opposed to somebody who's a slow mover like the other guy, and it takes him forever to get to a place. By that time, everything you wanted him to do it doesn't matter anymore because he, he you know he got there after after you needed him there we're gonna keep sieging this unit gauges army and see if we can't somehow possibly take them out and let's see the second Georgia has arrived in Amelia Oh, okay, that's the, the unit that got beat out of the 92 or 96. I'm going to have to do something about all these small units down here at some point, I think. Um, St. Sacrament, okay, that's there. Great Britain has captured Salisbury in Region Salisbury. That must be... Where is that? Is that in Georgia? No, it's, uh, it's in the Deep South. That's probably more in modern-day South Carolina. And Great Britain captured Orangeburg and Region Culleton, which is this, this place right here. I, I really need to get some units down there. Maybe I don't want him to go that way. I don't want him to really go that way either. I want him to go. I want him to go there and there and there and there. I don't want him to go. Why does he have to go this way? Okay. Seems weird. But, um... There's a fleet here. That I don't like seeing. Oh, I know what I can do. I can use these guys. Let's see if we can't take these guys on. These guys, the, these troops are very strong. They seem to be very strong, even though they're militia. They seem to be very strong. So we we'll go up against these guys, I guess, and see if we can't take Norfolk. Let's see what this says. Champlain flotilla is completely unsupplied in Lake Champlain, or South Champlain. Well, I know that. I don't know that there's anything I can do about that, though. Um, i tell you what. Let's move him this way. Is uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, that's another thing I was wanting to look at. Where's, where's Pittsburgh? Oh, he's still going. It's going to take him 19... More days. I think that's what that says. It takes 21 days to enter this region. So I guess he's already moved two days into that direction and it's going to take him 19 more days. Look at this unit. 
It's 85. What's, um... Who is this guy? Otho Williams. Let's move these guys down and put it, them under his command. Honestly, that I think they've added some units and didn't tell me because I'm I'm looking at some of these guys and there's Henry Lee. There's another guy. I think I will move him down and join up with them and then uh they'll have a commander and plus he'll use what does this say? Cavalryman? And very fast mover. So he's a very fast mover as well. There's a lot of things going on. What is his... What are his... Northerner. See, I can't move him. I can't move him out of the north. So... Why don't I... I'm going to move him down here. And then this guy. What I'll do is I'll have Nathan. Uh, Ethan Nathan or whatever his name is. I can't remember. Um, Nathaniel Green. I'm sorry. Uh, no, Ethan Allen. What the hell? Why am I getting Nathaniel Green? Um, we'll move Nathaniel Green to Pittsburgh. Because that will still be in the north. And then... He will, um, he will take over for, where's this guy? He'll take over for Morgan. Well, who is, what's his full name? Daniel Morgan? Oh, I can't remember. Daniel Morgan, yes. He'll take over for Daniel Morgan, and then Daniel Morgan will move to the south and uh, conduct operations in the south. Look at the cohesion on these units their cohesion is really horrible I guess it's because he's been he's been uh, moving for so long or or trying to move for so long I think it's been three or four turns that he's been marching over this wilderness just to get to Pittsburgh is there anything else I'm missing what is this guy what is he doing okay Okay, and I'm moving the these units down from New York to attach to Otho Williams. And then when he does that, we will then think about moving him south as well. Unless we really need him up here in the north. This is pretty interesting. I, I have to tell you, they, all these <laughs> units that I, you know, some of them I don't think I knew that I had, you know, because I don't think it, it actually informed me that I was getting these units. I, you know, th this, I believe, is the, um, oh, okay, this is the tab right here that tells me new unit messages. I don't think I, I was told about some of these new units, but maybe I was. I don't know. And let's see what this says. A capture is completely unsupplied. Okay. I, I can see where people would get into this. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to get into it as well. Wait a minute. Oh, we 12. We need 15. So let's go ahead and end that turn and process it and see what happens. Hopefully... Nothing else will bad will happen. I mean, the only bad thing happened the last time is a small battle in which I didn't lose any morale and it I didn't lose a unit either. What is this guy doing? I know it's completely it's crap. He's still taking for it's just one day. Okay, and his power is 44, and we're 86. So we should be able to take him on 
Um, you know, I don't. I, I haven't seen. The one thing I have not seen in um, Boston is uh, the icon for saying something is besieged. It doesn't. Okay. What happened to. What happened to the 11.30? Is he active? Can I... St it doesn't look like that... Gage's army is there anymore. Where did he go? Well, that's not good, people. Um, Otho Williams, okay. Uh, 36 days Thir um, yeah 30 days I think is the is the turn length so we'll get him there oh ho 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 hey ho um, that is not good North Carolina volunteers but they're British. And I certainly do not want to have to deal with that. Holy crap. So I am moving him back. <laughs> He's a fast mover though, so... We'll move him back. He'll be our scout. That's what he'll be. He'll be our scout for this guy. So we don't... We don't want him on offensive moves because if we did... Then he might get destroyed. And we definitely don't want that. Who is this guy? William Campbell. And he is a militiaman. Well, that's good. Good to know. Let's move him to there. And let's move these guys up to there. We'll combine those units and then he'll be... I'll have him work in this area of operations and see if we can't take back some of these forts like the 96 and some of these others. That's, that's concerning right there. Sir William Howe and Henry Clinton. Where is Gage? Do they have two armies? One of them is the Howe army and the other one is Gage's army? Wait a minute. Maybe this will tell me. English have trained a regular replacement. North Carolina militias mobilized. New Jersey militias mobilized. Georgia militias mobilized. British evacuate Boston. Okay. General Howe determines that to continue passive occup occupation of Boston will only result in starvation of his army. Attack against the entrenched Continentals seems risky, so the army loads onto transports and sails away to where? That's exactly what I was asking. Where the hell did they go? But uh, they, they came down here to Norfolk. Which is, you know, I mean, that's that's kind of concerning, but it's not that bad. What, uh, let's see. New York, Boston. Did we control Boston before? There's Philadelphia. We've got him moving here. New York and Pittsburgh. This is really it's kinda it's it's kind of nerve wracking to be honest with you, but it's hard to see or figure out I don't understand I guess he needs some regular troops to control Pittsburgh but I don't have any regular troops though but I certainly do need to control New York so it's Philadelphia let's move him to New York and um We'll move him to New York as well. Because we want to keep New York. 
Let's go through these messages before I do anything else. I feel like I'm just flailing around here without knowing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, H. Lee's. Okay. The Green Mountain Boys have arrived in West Point. That's there. We're going to New York with him. That's fine. Great Britain captured Salem in region trading forward. Um, okay. Great Britain captured Hillsborough. Great Britain captured Halifax. Who's doing all this capturing? That's just one unit. Are there any other units I can bring under his command? He's he's locked. Let's see. I mean, if he can't control Pittsburgh, then there's no reason to keep him there. And I'll just have to wait until I have more line units. Although I do have... That's infantry, and that's infantry. That's Warren. Does he have any others that... Nope. He does not. Are any of these trainers? Staffer. Oh, that's nice. Um, another fast mover. Pontooner. Which is good. Engineer. No, uh, trencher. Defensive engineer. Um, I wonder if there's a way to combine units at all. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to see if there's a way to combine units. I don't know that there is. Mountaineer. He's a good mountaineer. But he's going to be in New York. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's see. Three. What's in there? Okay. Uh. North Carolina militias have mobilized. That's him. I wonder why it's not under this. Uh, New Jersey. William Alexander. What is this? Uh, what does this mean? I wonder if there are any penalties to move, like, say, the, the New Jersey militia out of New Jersey. Well, we're going to find out. Um, Twenty-eight days, okay. And then Georgia militia is mobilized. Is that that? Savannah Garrison. It's locked. Savannah Defense is locked. No, oh, it said Georgia. I don't see Georgia militias unless I mean these guys. That says South Carolina, though. Oh! 
Camden Militia. Okay. Yes, I know about that. We failed to engage the Kanahaga was warband in the area of Mohawk. Our naval patrols, St. Helena Sound. I don't necessarily know that I wanted to engage. Oh. That must be that. That one unit retreated from uh, Henry Lee. This is becoming kind of interesting, to be honest with you. I've never been this interested before when I played this game, and I'm kind of interested at this. I do need to think, I do need to decide. I think we can take Boston. It doesn't tell us that it's sieged. Let's see if we can take it. Um, what's this guy doing? Let's bring him down to New York as well. I really probably off screen need to go through all my units because I think I've had some added and I need to make sure that I'm using them fully to their abilities and capabilities. Alright, let's see what goes on this time. That army in Norfolk, that British army in Norfolk is really concerning me because it looks very powerful. So, nothing seemed to happen. I put them on assault. New options are available. Alright. F1, F2, F3. By cannon, commission privateers. F4, raise more militia. Oh, extend militia service. That's not cool. I really need some EPs to <laughs> extend militia service, but I don't have any EPs to do it with. And then there's obviously nothing on page two, but um, my morale's dropped one. Is there any reason? Does it tell me what reason? No. But. Um, why didn't he attack? Oh, 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 I understand now. This is a... Crap. Of course, they would have been... They evacuated Boston by event, so they would have been able to get out of Boston anyway. But this is a separate region from Boston. I had to basically pull this over here and if I if I march no wonder I wasn't I wonder if it'll show me a siege icon or not but if I march I want to put him on assault and march into Boston and an epidemic breaks out among the troops birth of the US Marines Semper Fi and Congress that that two battalions of Marines be raised consisting of one colonel two lieutenant colonels to majors and other officers as usual in other regiments that they consist of an equal number of privates as with other battalions that particular care be taken that no persons be appointed to offices or enlisted into said battalions but such are good seamen are so acquainted with maritime affairs as to be able to serve for and during the present war with great britain and the colonies unless dismissed by congress that they can be distinguished by the names of the first and second battalions of marines pretty interesting Lord Dunmore is desperate or in desperate 
In a desperate attempt to recruit followers and to spread, spread disorder among the rebellious colonists, proclaims freedom for all slaves who lead their rebel masters, join the Tory side, and enlist in his army. The, the decision produces anxiety in the southern colonies, but such a promise only commits one who believes in it. Okay. The Royal Ethiopians are formed. Following the appeal of Lord Dunmore, a few hundred black slaves immediately flee their masters and join the ranks of the Loyalists. They are enrolled in the Royal Ethiopian Regiment, which Dunmore plans to use to cause havoc among the plantations. Their motto is freedom for the slaves. The success of their former governor's schemes enrages the Virginia, Virginian colonists. Virginia militias are mobilized. Oh. Oh, crap. Look at where this guy is. Anthony Wayne forms a light his light regiment in Philadelphia. Let's move him to Pittsburgh. 56 days. Um F5, yes. And then if he is able to control Pittsburgh, we'll move him out of there and get him to wherever. Uh, that, those are the, the supply units I think I ordered. Um, New Jersey Militia. What month is it? It's the month of November, which the white regions means it's snowing and it shows up here when I hover over it that it is indeed snowing in places like Berkshire Hills uh, Hartford Connecticut that's more that's very cold and clear and that's frozen a mountain interesting very cold forest Great Britain has captured Portsmouth and Nuttaway Captured the harbor. They captured Dimwitty, St. Petersburg, or Petersburg, I'm sorry. They captured Edenton and Region Dismal Swamp. <laughs> you can have it. We lost from G Richmond, Virginia. We have known better days. That's why we probably went down to 99 because they captured Virginia, or Richmond, Virginia. You control of Region Chickasavio. Has been reduced to zero at 30 days. Interesting. The second Georgia. Where am I? Where's my leaders? There he is. Hillsboro, Hillsboro Militia. That doesn't look good. Excuse me. And that doesn't look good. And it looks like he was attacked and retreated, or we have we succeeded in retreating before battle in Richmond. Sieged. It, there is a siege icon. This region, but it won't. I can't tell. So he's 109, now he's 44. I can't tell if that means. I think. I think in, in older games they didn't have a number in the icon unit and it was just by color and I think this means one breach and it's a size two fort so I don't know if I can assault it I think it needs to be dark red for me to be able to assault it but I'm not positive about that I probably won't be able to assault Boston immediately either but 
Okay, let's see. It says we don't control oh, uh, New York. I don't get that. I guess it's because they're all militia. And that's militia. And that is not militia, but it's mountain forces. I don't understand that. Why don't we control New York? That's a, that's a concerning to me because I think we should be controlling it. See, they're capturing these these strategic towns. Yeah. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, I've got him going to Pittsburgh. And I don't have him really doing anything. And it doesn't tell me what power he is. So. Uh, Quebec, Montreal, Fort Detroit. Pittsburgh, Boston. I need to capture Boston. That's important. Okay, see, Richmond, that's that's where that one point came from. That's where I lost. I went down one point in our morale. This is getting a little nerve-wracking. Okay, anyway, um, I think I'm going to call this episode to a close. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you noticed, I didn't get angry about any of the things going on because partly because I don't have any idea what's going on. Um, I didn't even realize he was up here taking Richmond. He sure did move fast. Wonder how he got from there to there. Did he cross? Did he did he embark on a transport and move up to Richmond, or did he move up through? I think he might have moved up through here, and then. He wasn't here, so when he marched through it, it, he took it, and then he got to Richmond, and he was in Richmond, and he retreated to there, and I, I, th I think that might have been what happened. But anyway, this is episode two of my Let's Play Birth of America 2, Wars in America. This is an American Revolutionary War. I'm playing the USA. My name is Gilmer, and... You know, click like if you think you like it. And if you don't, well, don't click anything. Don't click don't like. Um, you know, don't downvote me. If you don't like it, just ignore me and just go on about your business. But if you like me, click like. But anyway, I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and I'm signing off. Goodbye.